Hey everybody, thanks for tuning in. I'm George Conlon with Scratch Golf Tips, and today we're going to be talking about the powerful golf swing and one commonality that all powerful golf swings have. Now it's no secret that great powerful golf swings yield to great golf results in terms of ball striking, scoring, and consistency on the golf course. So today we're gonna to be looking at some of the most powerful golf swings. What I did was I went through the PGA Tours uh, driving distance statistic, whoever had the highest. So we're gonna be looking at two people in the top three, which are Rory McIlroy and Cameron Champ. And what we're gonna be discussing in these golf swings is what is called leveraging the ground in the golf swing. When I say leveraging the ground, what I'm referring to is the pushing up off the ground to generate more power through transition and at impact in your golf swing. What this looks like is when you're coming down, so this is the transition move at the top of your swing, when you're coming down through the ball, what a lot of golfers will do is they will straighten their leading leg. So for a right-handed golfer, you're going to be pushing off the ground and straightening your left leg in an effort to generate more power. This allows a much more explosive move in transition. If you're pushing off the ground, it allows your upper body to rotate a lot more and just create a lot more club head speed, which generates that powerful golf swing that so many people strive for. So first off, let's look at Cameron Champ's golf swing. You'll see his left leg straighten up through that transition into the ball, and you can see how his left side or the left part of his body continues in to utilize the power from the ground. When you're straightening out that leg, it allows everything to be really uncoiled effectively, generating obviously, like I said earlier, more club head speed, more club head speed through the ball means more distance, more power. Another thing that you can notice in Cameron Champ's swing is the amount of lag that he has. That lag is created through generation of a lot of club head speed, which is generated through leveraging the ground. So if you want that lag, which he also gets through shallowing the club, then this is another great way to do that. Now shallowing the club, uh, many people find it quite difficult but if you're leveraging the ground, that actually allows you to shallow the club a little bit more effectively because it's giving you more time. If you don't leverage the ground and you skip that part and you're just gonna shift your weight right onto your side naturally through horizontal sway, you're not going to, you're not gonna have enough time to get those hands down. You're gonna come across quick, you're gonna come across the ball with an out to in club path, and that leads to not only a slice, but a reduction of distance uh, in doing so. Now it's hard to make a video talking about the golf swing and what we should be doing correctly without seeing some type of video from Rory McIlroy, especially with Rory McIlroy having a driver in hand. Now here you can see Rory's wide takeaway and notice how stable his base is. His feet are nice and far apart. They're further apart than shoulder length which is a great way to be setting up with the driver specifically. And then he just has some nice spinal tilt in the, the top of the backswing into transition. And that left leg just shoots into the ground and then extends right up. And ideally what we wanna see is that left leg, that knee basically locking and that left leg being entirely straightened right at the impact point with the golf ball. Now this move is not necessarily a natural move. It's inherently athletic to time up this explosive move through impact. And for some people who really don't leverage the ground very effectively, it's entirely foreign. So be sure as always to take your time implementing this into your golf swing. And as with any implementation, it is very important to film your swing from the angle that I showed these videos, the prior videos to you at. That's called the caddy view. When you're looking facing your chest and you can see uh, the weight transfer, you can see that left leg straightening out. If you film from behind you, then you're not gonna see it at all. Your leading leg is gonna be hidden. So be sure to film from the proper angles and analyze it correctly. I wish I could tell you that the first day that you try and implement this move into your swing, everything will go swimmingly and you're gonna see that power come out in your carry distances. Uh, unfortunately, it's not the case. Uh, it's going to be difficult. It might take some time, but this is a very attainable move, and once it's down, it is such a key part in so many ball strikers games. Let me know in the comment section below if you have tried leveraging the ground in your golf swing and how it's gone, I'd love to hear. Also, if you have any other methods of generating more club head speed or more power in your golf swing, leave them in the comment section below so I can read them and anyone else watching this video can read them as well. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a like rating. We really appreciate those because that not only shows me that you're enjoying the content, it also helps YouTube distribute these types of videos to more people who will find them helpful. 
uh, it's always greatly appreciated for that type of feedback. If you're looking for more videos, you can go through all of our uploads. We've got a ton of content on this account. And if you want to see future uploads, feel free to subscribe to the channel. As always, thank you very much for watching. Play well and take care.